What's good my lovelies and welcome to my channel Lovely Soul Empress. Today I'm going to be doing Pisces love reading from August 3rd to August 9th. If you're looking for a private reading my information will be in the description box. If you want to follow me on Instagram you'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress. As I stated this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus as well as for the cross watcher if you're dealing with a Pisces or someone who has that important placement. Now when I was shuffling I got let me just get my lighter. Uh, I got a couple messages for you guys. I got the, um, our, um, I love you, but a temporary uh, separation is needed at this time. I got the, um, call me. I will answer, but uh, I can't initiate contact at this time. And as well, I got the nine of cups. So, Somebody's wish fulfillment is to come out of this conflict and uh, the death card, which is talking about death and transformation. So I feel like there's a transformation in this situation. OK, so um, if you've watched me before, you know, I like to take jumpers. Um, please remember that the energies can be reversed, that there's no gender in tarot and that this is a general a love reading it can't resonate with everyone so take what resonates and leave what doesn't in the description box i have put the decks of cards that i use uh, i also have put uh, the link if you want to donate to the channel that is greatly appreciated i'm gonna um take jumper so if you want to fast forward to all the cards are out that's fine spirit show me what you have for my pisces gang sun moon rising and venus for their highest good spirit, most important love messages they need to know right now, spirit. Three more, spirit. One more, spirit. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck is the star. Okay, Pisces, you have the Four of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Queen of Wands. At the heart of the matter is the Tower. Okay, your partner has Temperance, the Hermit, and the Fool. The overall energy is the Star. All right, we're going to jump right in and start clarifying. Spirit, why does Pisces have the Four of Pentacles, Spirit? So the Four of Pentacles, this talks about holding back. This is the card of uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, you might be holding back from this person at this time because you're stuck in your head, uh, a prison of your own making. Uh, you're worried about what's going on with this person. Uh, you're not really sure what to think. Um, and the Six of Swords, you want to move to calmer waters. I'm feeling like you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm feeling like you want to move to calmer waters from this situation with or without this person. You're tired of um, whatever uh, has caused this tower. Sp um, spirit, why is the moon here? Why is the moon here for my Pisces gang? So the moon, this is the card of Pisces, okay? Um, it's also the card of unconscious, um, hidden feelings, secrets, right? So you might have felt like this person had secrets from you. You might have blocked this person with this page of swords. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Even if you didn't physically block them, they feel you energetically block them. They could be spying on you. Then you have the Knight of Wands clarifying that. That's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is the player card. This person could have been going in and out with their energy, and you didn't really understand why, so you just put the kibosh on that. Like, I'm not really interested in this in and out energy. Or it could be reversed, but I'm picking up heavy that this is what's going on with this person. Spirit, why is the Queen of Wands here? Too many, Spirit. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Pisces gang? Why is the Queen of Wands here for my Pisces gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 3rd to the 9th, Spirit. So the Queen of Wands, this is Aries, Leo, and Sag. This is a very feisty, sassy, independent, confident, go-getter of a queen, Okay. This is what I feel like they see you, okay? They see you empowered. And then that's the three of wands. They might feel you're waiting on them or they're waiting on you. But right now, um, your partner is in rest and healing or you are. I feel like it could possibly be both of you. Maybe they see you resting and healing and they're waiting. 
okay? Spirit, why is the tower here at the heart of the matter for my Pisces gang, Spirit? So there was a tower, okay? When you see the tower, this is the card of Scorpio. When you see the tower, you know that the universe knocked it down because they felt that something was built on the faulty foundation and the faulty foundation was the three of cups. There was too many people in this situation. Spirit, why the tower with the three of cups? So the world, so I feel like this, um, you discovered this or they discovered this and this brought a close to this situation for both the views. Now the world is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Those signs could be relevant to you or not, but that's what caused this cycle. As well at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. There was a lot of deception here. Spirit, why is temperance here for my Pisces person, Spirit? Why is uh, temperance here for Pisces partner, Spirit? So temperance is talking about patience, divine timing, healing, and reconciliation, right? That's the card of Sagittarius. That's being clarified by the Nine of Cups. They want to reconcile with you, okay? They feel like reconciling with you would be a victory. Six of Wands, okay? Spirit, why is the Hermit here for my Pisces gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So the Hermit is the card of Virgo. Um, they feel like you've gone within. They might have gone within two um, because they needed to do some soul searching. Um, and then that's being clarified with the Six of Pentacles. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is also Libra because this is the card of the Merchant. This is when... Um, there needs to be balance in a situation. There was an equal give and take. And also at the bottom of the, of the card, you see the two women. Okay. So giving to two situations, this person realizes now that them giving to two different peoples will cause this tower moment. Okay. Spirit, why is the fool here for, um, Pisces partner spirit? Why is the fool here for Pisces partner? So the Fool is the card of Aries and for Pisces, okay? So I feel like um, this person wants a new beginning, okay? And that's being clarified by the Six of Cups. So they want this new beginning with you, right? That's talking about re uh, reconciliation, nostalgia, and fond memories, right? And then that's being clarified with the King of Swords. This is a head over heart decision. This king, he makes very, um, he likes fact and logic, Okay, um, and that's being clarified with the Five of Cups. So I feel like this King of Swords has regrets, maybe because they were too quick to use their sword, and now they have the Five of Cups. So they want a new beginning with you. Now, also this King of Swords, this could be an Aquarius. I'm picking up heavy, okay, because of the fact that you also have the star here. So um, it could, doesn't have to be an Aquarius. They could have Aquarius in their chart, but I'm feeling that a lot. Spirit, why is the star here for my Pisces gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So the star is um, talking about um, wish fulfillment. Um, it's talking about uh, getting favor from the universe, okay? And um, that's being, and this is the card of Aquarius, like I said. This is also the universe trying to equal a situation out and bring that balance that wasn't there. If you see, she's pouring both into the 3D and the 5D, right, with her two pictures, right? So um, this is happening because it was 10 of wands. There was a lot of burden in this situation. Spirit, let me get one more. 10 of wands with the star for the overall energy for Pisces. Why is the 10 of wands with the star, the overall energy for my Pisces gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the star here with the Ten of Wands? So now um, they recognize that they, um, they screwed this up and that it is their wish fulfillment and they have a lot of passion for you, but here you are. Uh, showing up as the Nine of Pentacles. This is my looking good, smelling good, feeling good card. This is the Minor Arcana of the Empress. They see you in your single energy and they are very concerned. Okay? 
Now let's get a Manifest Your Soulmate card. Spirit, can you show us what would help Pisces manifest the best outcome they can for the week of August 3rd to the 9th? Spirit, anything else? Okay. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So um, Spirit is advising you to take a risk. And then love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you and that was in the reverse and I feel like this person is having some issues um, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you so I feel like Maybe you're um, putting too much emphasis on them and not enough on yourself. You are spiritually connected to those you love. Okay, life is a great big canvas. Um, throw all the paint you can at it. So Spirit is saying, you know, take back some of your power, right? You want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. And that's what you want. You want loyalty and you want somebody to stand with you no matter what comes. You're not sure if this person is capable of doing that. Spirit, can you show us what Pisces person is feeling but not saying? Spirit, what is Pisces person feeling but not saying? Anything else, Spirit? Anything else for Pisces? So you are so beautiful to me. Don't lie to me. I know if you do through our divine bond. And anger and resentment affect us both. Uh, let's talk to solve our issues. So they want to keep this line of uh, communication open. Uh, they feel like they are uh, connected to you. Uh, and they know when you're not telling them the truth. I feel like that's you though with that moon energy. Like you know when they're, they're bullshitting you. Okay, you be calling bullshit on them, right? Spirit, what does Pisces feel for their partner, Spirit? What does Pisces feel for their partner? What does Pisces feel for their partner? So you're trying to call in your soulmate. You feel like there's a lot of chemistry here. You have romantic feelings. It's a very good chance you guys have kids together, but you're paying attention to the red flags, okay? Spirit, what uh, does Pisces person feel for them, Spirit? What does Pisces person feel for them, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So they're concentrating on their finances and career and they're getting to know each other. So they might have not been, um, they, you guys might have been together for a long time and still they didn't pay attention to really what you were about. You were more investing in them. That's why you got that, um, uh, love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you, okay? So you were over-investing in this person. And uh, there is a separation here. They're trying to keep an open mind and stay optimistic because what they want is reconciliation. They went to their friends to help because they're afraid that uh, you're going to tell them that their love is unrequited. Spirit, what actions will Pisces be taking towards their person? Spirit, what actions will Pisces be taking towards their person? So, um, you're trying to let go of control issues, but you feel that they are a flirt. You could be married to this person with this wedding card, or at least you guys were talking about the level of commitment, but here goes that deception card, okay? Spirit, what actions will Pisces person be taking towards them, Spirit? What actions will Pisces person be taking towards them? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what actions? So, the deception card came out. So they're still lying about something and that came out with the wedding card. So this person could be married already or they could be telling you we're going to get married and they don't. Excuse me, sneezing allergies, right? So they could be telling you that this is going to move further when it's not or um, they might try to lock you down with a wedding but never tell you the truth. Okay, healing family issues is necessary. They see you in retreat. And that makes me think that they would try to marry you to get you out of the retreat. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be honest. There's a past life relationship here, though. And they feel you're worth waiting for. They know you deserve love. It's safe for you to love. There's a lot of chemistry. Um, they have romantic feelings, but they know you don't trust them. Okay? 
Spirit, what's the outcome for this situation for my Pisces gang? What's the outcome for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the outcome for my Pisces gang? Children. So you may have children with this person, and if not, there could be children on their side that are involved in this situation. But either way, um, or you could end up having a child with this person. Uh, stay about optimistic about your love life. Here's the reconciliation card. So you guys are headed towards reconciliation. Let your friends help. There is true love here, but pay attention to the red flags, okay? Um, you're going to give this relationship a chance. Keep an open mind and attraction is here. You feel like this could be the one expressing your love, but the codependency and free yourself card is here with the separation and the unrequited love. So I feel like there's a good chance that you may go back and then see that some of the same issues are there and then end up walking away from them anyway. Okay, so that's what I have for you, my um, Pisces gang. Let's get some advice from Spirit. Spirit, can I get some advice from my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of August 3rd to the 9th, Spirit? Okay, and I did tell you that you had the death card in um, the pre-shuffle and you got rebirth. So you are changing. Uh, this is also why this person is trying to rush into you. Okay, that's what I have for you guys. I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for spending a little bit of time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.